Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. This video is going to demonstrate some of the new features of the JSON object function in Oracle Database 19C, focusing on the ease of use aspects. If you're new to the SQL JSON functions, there's a separate video on their usage. Using the full syntax, we have to include the key and value keywords for each element of the JSON object we're trying to create. The result of this is a single JSON object for each row returned by the query. The key keyword has always been optional, which simplifies the syntax a little. Notice here we only use the value keyword. From 19C onward, we can use a wildcard in the JSON object call, which will return all the columns from the table or view. Notice the JSON element names are all in uppercase. This is because they're derived from the column names. We can also use an aliased wildcard. A more flexible alternative is to use a list of column names. The case of the column names specified in the JSON object function call determines the case of the element names in the resulting JSON. In this example, the columns were listed in lowercase, so the element names are in lowercase. If we use init cap column names in the JSON object function call, we get init cap element names in the output. A new shortcut syntax allows us to use a colon in place of the key keyword. This doesn't make the syntax much smaller, but it does make it look more like JSON. This will only work if you're using a 19C driver. In this example, we're using SQLCL 18.4 and we get an error. If we run the same query on the database server, which has the 19C client, the new shortcut syntax works fine. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.